Hello and welcome to another episode of the Driving at Home podcast, where we talk about the latest sermons that have been preached here at the Cheyenne Church of Christ, and we consider some bonus takeaways and some practical action steps for you and your family to help drive those lessons home. We want these lessons to show up in our everyday lives and make a lasting impact on our faith, and that's exactly what we're here to learn how to do. So thanks for tuning in. Let's get started. What's up, you guys? Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of the Driving at Home podcast. Today, we're talking time management. Uh, Chris taught us a lesson about time management in a sermon here on Sunday, and it was just awesome. And I love this idea that he shared about uh, day tight compartments. Man, I love that idea of of applying Jesus's wisdom to. Uh, sort of live for today, not in the sense of eat, drink, and be merry for tomorrow we die, but in the sense of, you know, today's really all we've been given. And we don't know if tomorrow is going to come. If it does, great. Um, but we have been given today. So how can we make the best use of our time today? And that's the whole concept of this day tight compartment idea of so often we fly at this 30,000 foot view of our lives where we get stuck looking at the overall uh, picture of things whether it's our future or our past or what have you. And there's definitely some wisdom in thinking about our future and, you know, kind of reviewing our past, but we don't want to live in either place. We want to live in the present. That's why Jesus said when he was teaching his friends how to pray, he said, give us this day our daily bread. Like there's something to be said for let's focus on today. As they say in the South, let's be where our feet are. And uh, I just love that concept. So thanks, Chris, for bringing us a lesson on that. That day tight, uh, that day tight compartment idea. Really love that. And um, I think part of why that's such a helpful perspective for me is it brings us from, like I said, this thirty thousand foot view down to what I call a two foot view, where you look down, you go, "Where are my two feet?" In other words, where am I right now and how can I make the best use of the time with where I am right now? You know, Paul said to his friends in the church at Ephesus in Ephesians 5, he said, make the best use of the time for the days are evil. The verse right before that, he said, uh, he kind of compared like this is the difference between wise people and unwise people. Wise people choose to make the best use of their time. Unwise people do not, and they don't really care about it. So we want to be wise, especially as people who prioritize following Jesus. We want to ask ourselves the question, okay, if we've been given today, and that's all we've been promised, right? Then how can we make the best use of what we have right here, where we are? What can we do? And so you want to ask yourself this question of, okay, as a Christian, what's the best thing I could do with my time? And the answer to that is really similar to the answer we asked in last week's episode where Jesus was once asked, well, hey, what's the most important thing to you? Like, what's the greatest commandment? And Jesus responded and he said, the most important thing is to love God and to love your neighbor. And so it's kind of a similar question we're asking this week where we're not asking, hey, what's the most important thing you could do? But it's it's really similar where the question is, hey, what's the best thing we could do with our time? Like those questions are really uh, closely tied to one another. And so it makes sense that the answers to those questions would sound an awful lot like uh, the answer to the other question. So the answer to our question this week, how can we use the best or what can we do to make the best use of our time? The answer is, well, love God and love the people that he's put around you. A lot of times we we think about this idea of loving people as something that's really inconvenient and really inefficient. And we think of it that way because it is like love is inconvenient and love is not efficient, but that those are the exact reasons why we rarely think of this as the answer to our time management issues. Because when we think of time management, if you're like me, you think productivity hacks or efficiency tools or time saving tips, things like that. And those things are all well and good, but really if we're only promised today, Uh, It's kind of using this wisdom that you get from that old Tim McGraw song, right? To live like you're dying. Like if you only had today left in your whole life, what would you spend your day doing? And I hope that your answer would be, well, I want to love and serve the people that are around me. Because when we look to the example of Jesus, 
What did he do on his last day when he knew he only had one more day to live? What did he spend his time doing? Like he loved people. He took time out of that day to serve people. Even as he's like walking up the dirt road, carrying the cross on his back, he's talking to people in the crowd on looking and he's offering them hope uh, in their eternal future. It's like, man, even to his dying breath, he's loving and serving other people. As he looked down from the cross and he said, you know, John, take care of my mother. He's thinking about other people. He's serving them. He's loving the people that are around him. And so if we only had one day left, like if today was your last day, what's the best thing you could do with your time? Man, it's to love the people around you and to follow the example of Christ. Because isn't that what we're supposed to do as Christians, as people who follow Jesus, is to follow his example? That's what we're here to do. So that's like my little itty bitty tidbit. And I want to give you a practical action step on, okay, how can you actually implement this in a very real way? Because I know there's all kinds of questions um, that you might have. But if you, uh, if you want an action step, and I'm sure that you do, that's why you're listening, then what I'm actually going to say is make sure that you come to our next Sunday night special. Um, if you don't know what a Sunday night special is here at the Cheyenne Church, we put on these um, sort of deep dive classes on Sunday nights a few times a year that spoke that focus on one of a few topics. And so this next Sunday night special is going to focus on time management for the life of a Christian. And so it's going to start November 6th at 5 p.m. here at the building. And Chris is going to be putting it on. It's going to be called Win the Day. It's going to take a look at how can we manage our time well as Christians. So that would be my action step for you is make sure that you're here because it's going to be a great series. I'm really confident of that. So thanks for tuning into this episode. I know I didn't get into too many details because I really want you to come uh, and learn from this series that we're going to be putting on. But remember, if you only had one day left, what would be the best thing that you could do with your time? It'd be to love the people that God has put around you in your life. So take some time after you listen to this podcast, go love on somebody, not in a creepy or weird way, but just go do something out of a genuine interest for their well-being. Get out there and love your neighbor, people. So thanks so much for tuning in. I hope to see you not only next week here on the podcast, but also at the Sunday night special that starts November 6th here at the building at 5 p.m. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. We'll see you next time.